the tournament and had a harrowing but very informative match against Tino's Toughest. And you walked away with a little bit of mutual respect for each other. Particularly between, at least on the other team's side, the two Dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> After which, you set off with Ingdani towards the Temple of Aurori, which you were supposed to make your base of operations after securing your three feathers and your necklace. You have secured two of your feathers so far, after clearing some of the rooms. <clears throat> and now find yourself standing in the... Is this the meditation pool? The reflection pool. <laughs> considering what you all might want to do next. So, as we come back in... Uh, I think Bink had specific things he wanted to do right away. Uh, yes. Bink would like to pull the archaeologist forward and have him look at the two rooms that had... Very dangerous haunts that are probably unreset. Okay, well, Amatar, I did a little more reading on Amatar. His people are a small race, so he's four foot one. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, you see him, you call out for him, and he's looking in the room where the pagoda is, and he looks a little bit nervous. And he's like, um, <laughs> what did you want to do? I, I stand here at the bottom of the stairs, and I say, it's currently... Free of ghosts, you can you can come to this side, and uh, <clears throat> the creature that sleeps in the pool is out hunting. You're you're safe all the way to us. Make a persuasion check. Yes, as long as it. He's like, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna come real quick. And he starts dashing oh, across the field. Uh, I go to meet him <laughs> with, halfway with there, legs. just like escort. <laughs> I'd like to kind of escort him. <laughs> okay, there. between between Bink, Baldrick, and Volsonir showing up, he seems okay, but he scampers pretty quickly across the floor. Uh, <clears throat> Bink notes him scampering and says, mm, "Yes, the monks said something about don't take their their stuff. Uh, we haven't located that yet. I had located some of their stuff. Ooh, well, you'll have to show us uh, while we rest. But uh, we we have a." Uh, a timetable. The haunts seem to be uh, inactive currently to the south. <clears throat> we don't worry. There, oh, there are no. I never actually triggered one of them, so I don't know how long they go down. I, I would estimate we have another fifty minutes. Oh, interesting. Did you find out something? Uh, I just uh, well, this particular haunt would cause. Which one are you talking about? South. This is the the okay. sand the, uh, the sand monks he told us about. Currently, the <clears> sand <throat> monks are not there. We uh, we took care of them. Oh yeah, I think that was a meditation chamber at some point. The monks of Aurori believed in physical and personal enlightenment through constant study and management. So meditation was a big part of their experience here. Many of them never even left the temple for most of their lives. Interesting. Uh, uh, Bink walks in and says, See, everything seems to be safe. We did end up Everything finding... is in order. <laughs> we did find a, a gem, an elemental gem in, inside. But, um... I didn't ask this last week, but, um... Mm. Uh, I, is there a continuation of the mural from the entrance of the faceless man um, doing his trials in here? Or is it just a plain room for meditation? Um, this one was a room. There were elaborate sand art on the chamber floor. Sometimes they would work on it, but then they would ritualistically dismantle the art, grain by grain, and start over. It was a, a form of meditation about appreciating the temporality of things. So this this is like a like a super rock garden. Like, like grain by grain rock garden going on in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, and then I think we'll be like, and up to the north, um, I, I need to check to make sure that it's not going to go off again. Or uh, come over. Uh, I'd like to cast guidance on self and then do an arcana check to see if this one also seems to be on a timetable. 
Let me see. You guys are in the Sand Monk chamber. Where the fuck is that? Is that room? Nope. It's south of that. Nope. There it is. Can you disable this one? I have Mason's tools. That's what I can contribute to this endeavor if that counts for anything. Where is the D? I have expertise in Mason's tools. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're just better at it than me at everything. <laughs> You're the only one that is actually proficient in perception, though. She yeah, I don't have true. <laughs> true. <laughs> the whole party, the only one that is trained to see oh, no. things. Perception. But it's only a plus five. Yeah, they're I'm a plus, plus six. six. Yeah, just, just yeah. The end of you. I know how to play tr three dragon ante pretty well. What are you trying to do in which room, Jazzy? North, the one that was electricity. I want to make. I want to see. Uh, okay, that's room A8. Let's see what they have going on in there. How often does that room retrigger? Yeah, I, I want to make sure that it doesn't kill our. Da -da 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 -da. Powerful Cato Bleepus. And okay. I'll, I'll roll an Arcana. Wronged you... Monk's Wrath. Reset. Hot resets after an hour. Let's see. You Oh, you can stealth pass some of these things. That's fun. Ooh. Am I one of the stealthiest boys on the party? You are, actually. Yes, very <laughs> much so. Oh! Uh, make, what are you saying with your arcana check? Go ahead and make one. What are you trying to determine I, here oh, again? I, I wanted to know more about the haunts to make sure that our archaeologist wasn't going to get hurt. Oh yeah, go for it. Make an arcana check. Oof. Uh, you don't know a whole lot, but you can cast <laughs> guidance on him, and he might know some stuff because he's been studying him for a while. I will do that. Every, everything looks okay. Here you go. Long you go in. Volthanir is going. Is probably going to do the short rest. He's going to be giving a speech to anybody who's short resting. In the meantime. There you go. I'm definitely short yeah, resting. Yeah. Uh, Bink oh. will enter the room uh, ahead of the archaeologist and and say, well, there was an explosion last time. There was a very angry monk that attacked oh. Luna. This is definitely a prayer room of some sort. Uh, you can cast um, Guidance on Amatar if you want. Uh, it should be on? Mm. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Okay. Interesting. Okay, he gets advantage for specific reasons. Whoops, that was two d fours. So he rolled a nineteen. Okay, I made the DC like eighteen for this. Uh, yeah, he'll tell you that this was, from what he can tell, a prayer room with all sorts of aids left behind, and it seems that based upon the current way everything is discarded the abbot was probably here performing a ceremony or ritual before things happened because of the current items that are out he's not entirely certain if it'll stop it but he thinks that like many spirits it could likely be appeased and you might be able to do it if you were to put all of the items in this room that have been discarded back where they belong. Oh, interesting. Um. Huh. Uh, Bink will call out um, to the group and ask, does anybody have experience with rituals of religious... I don't... I don't think literally anyone in your party has religion. <laughs> I figured I'd try. I'm like, I I would like to uh, ask... Uh, I'll uh, do a quick little skill challenge with you. Yeah. You've already got one success for religion. Make an... I'll let you make an educated guess with Arcana. Go ahead. You can guidance yourself and make an Arcana check. Okay. About where these items may have gone and any other sort of significance they may have had. Um, if there's anything for display or art, I do have performance, if that uh, matters. No, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll do a charisma skill for that. That sounds good. All right. 
Okay, let me roll my performance. It was a 20. It mm. slid on a 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Between you and Amatar, you place all of the candles back where they were supposed to go, as far as Amatar can tell, based on his studies. And he seems a bit nervous, and he's like, I'm going to step out of the room, but uh, you should light them, and then we'll offer a prayer to Irori. Okay. Uh, is there a and set of... I'm going to step out of the room. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Bink asks uh, if there might be a specific order to lighting the candles before he starts. Ah, uh, you go clockwise for them. Thank you. Uh, Bink lights uh, one of the sticks and moves it from candle to candle. Proper direction. And... Okay. After you're done, Amatar walks in and he kneels down in the center of the chamber and he offers a quiet prayer to Irori. The candle's light briefly flashes brighter and then you almost hear a sigh in the room. He goes, I think it worked! And he gives you two thumbs up. Okay, thank you. I guess this room should be safe. I'm being I wonder if we need to uh, paint a mural sand to the south to appease those restless monks. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Bink muses. You could probably, answer. if you were a well-trained enough wizard, you could probably place wards against future hauntings. But let's go that direction and see what we can figure out. Okay. South. Hmm. All right, let's see what Amatar knows. DC is still uh, 18 for this. Give me, give me a second for <laughs> <To> guidance. <clears throat> Oh no! He rolled a one and a two. Oh. <laughs> he does not know how to disable this one. He knows that you need to m express a particular prayer or philosophy, but he's not entirely certain which one you would need for this room. Um. He well, knows he it can be disabled. He said but he it doesn't was know exactly how. Meditation. Meditation is about inner peace. What what what's the symbol for peace in uh in your language? I do not speak it. Maybe maybe we could do a, a very large room of that in the center. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what intelligence skills do you have? Arcana. What wisdom skills do you have? Insight. And, I'll let uh, you medicine. make a specialized intelligence insight check here. Okay. Since you're trying to determine the philosophies of the creatures who would have lived here based upon your observations of the temple. Okay, here's my rule. You do not know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would have only been six higher because it was a seven that slid into a one. <laughs> it's not, not a good, good day. You're not certain how to disable the particular haunt here. Well, we'll just avoid this room. 
uh, until we... We don't have to more. disable it, we can just eat, eat it. We just, just get hit. But we just don't have to come back here. <laughs> I mean, Mark, you're a short rest. Let me uh, roll hit die here. You oh, may man. proceed. You should, you should do that. <laughs> Uh, so far, there, um, have been, there have been no problems. We couldn't punch our way through so far. Uh, Ducky, do you want to roll hit die? Or do you have any left? Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I have a. Um, I think I have a. I gave temp HP a. to everyone who wasn't Bank and Minerva. Ooh, Minerva yeah. already had 16 temp HP. Yeah. Yeah, I got to roll my my That's little fine. hit die and do my thing. Her little hit die doohickey thing. How much did I get? Oh, so Aduna cannot roll that, so she would have healed. I heal him minimum of like ten or twelve. Minimum. Oh, ten. is the durable just work on its own? Yeah, it is. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Oh my fucking yeah. god! <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, so let me that's do my. Awesome. Uh, just drag that heal under yourself again. Yeah. Yep. That. The, like this is this is what I pay for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It was a I 10. almost had a ten, and it was a. T I, I keep rolling twos on these. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. All right, well, well that's my last die. I'm out. <laughs> I only have three left for the day. I'm only going to spend one. That's I, I, amazing! Holy shit! I was like, oh man, are we gonna have to fiddle with durable camping the whole time? It's like, we got you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I am so easily swayed by fantasy grounds sometimes. No, that's great. Speaking durable. of which, Bant, toggle advantage and click your attack roll for Eldritch Blast. Uh oh. I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. That he's telling you to do. I was scared. No, it's a good thing. <laughs> Your character nukes itself. Roll up a new one. Elven oh. accuracy works. Ah, oh, fuck interesting. Yeah. Is that the only like uh, skill in a game that allows for three d twenties to be rolled? Yep. Wow. Well, technically, there's the lucky feat, and there's the right. halfling's lucky feature, but no, this is the only one that is consistently triggerable. This is the only one without a resource. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So you all had a chance to rest, and you've disabled one of the haunts. Amatar seems excited about this, and he likes that one of you is at least trying to show respect to the temple, and he seems to have a higher estimation of you all. Still is very nervous around Aduna. <laughs> Backs away from her. <laughs> <laughs> The three tall people. Aldrich, Aldrich gives Amatar a knowing nod. He's going to go back to his little space while you all explore. Oh man, what is going on? Why am I suddenly getting like super weird jittery performance? Do we want to uh, investigate the kitchen haunts before we move deeper in? Or do we want, want to leave that for last? Um, what was the question? There is a kitchen haunt haunts. in the in the kitchen, or do we want oh. to move on to other things and come back? We haven't checked out the kitchen, and there could be a feather in there. Yeah, That's true. Feather or the necklace could be in the kitchen, or the necklace. We have so also didn't really scout out this area here, did we? Even though it doesn't appear to be much in there. Yeah, that yeah. was an alternative entrance. So, yeah, we... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, There's a dormitory to the south, though. Oh, dormitory? Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, we should check the dormitory and the kitchen. We just don't want to advance too far without checking these things out and then come back and... <clears throat> it's up to you, and Amatar would have told you what those rooms' purposes vaguely were from what he could tell. Yeah. So, yeah, wherever, whoever has the blue arrow, that is a dormitory. Okay. All right. I'll I, delete it. I, oh. Okay. Um. I think I've got all my. I got all my shit back, right? 
Uh, I think uh, dormitory, sleeping before food. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Okay. You all may head in that direction. All right. Here we go. My gosh, Fantasy Grounds feels like Morrowfire is trying to join. <laughs> I do have the sexy sax music on, Biggles. It just it takes a oh, break okay. so that it's not playing continuously so your ears don't get bored. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Rotted hay mattresses and small wooden chests fill most of the floor space of this large shared dormitory. Wide doorways to the north and south lead out of the room. Uh, you get a sense immediately looking around the space that these monks lived a very ascetic life. There weren't a lot of belongings that they kept around. They had maybe a couple of small chests you'll see at the feet of some of the beds. Uh, if you talk to Amatar, Amatar will tell you that traditionally the monks would um, ask anyone who stayed to leave a small donation in their chest. Which the monks would only take when they were in uh, desperate need of funds. Okay. So there's a bunch of chests in here. I think Fantasy Grounds is done with its... Oh no, it's still... Something went weird with the image for me. Close the image of the map and reopen it. Yeah, it seems fine for me. I haven't had any weird lag. Well, you say that, but you're your token is over my token. <laughs> your token's over my token on my screen. Squad. <laughs> we are it's bonded. Fixed. It's fixed now. <laughs> yeah, now it's running faster. <laughs> I'm not touching you. Oh my god. Uh, uh, where's the where's the chest of donations, Sarge? There's just a lot of different chests in here. Visitors would leave chests in here. Um, they would leave stuff in the chest for the temple. So, if you poke around, there's quite a few things in here. Um, whoever's decent at investigation, make a check. We'll see if this takes you all, like, five minutes or 15 minutes to sift through. Hey, Aduma. <clears throat> we, we, need, we need you. Was it Aduma yeah. or Minerva? Oh, I've what? got, like, a plus one. Uh, yeah, I'm a plus one. I, Min Minerva? For which one? Investigation. investigation. Plus five. There we go. Oh, yeah, you didn't hear. The party's looking around. Does anyone have a brain? Nah, no <laughs> brain. Only punch. <laughs> Is anyone trained in using their brain? <laughs> <laughs> this specific yeah, very quickly, uh, Minerva can suss out that there's about 218 gold spread across different um, different uh, blah, 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 chess here. There's a strange ring with a spider motif on it. There is oh. a funky looking arrow. Oh, did I put the art in here? Hold on. Ledger dot the saddlebag. Blah blah blah. I love when you know Sarge is excited about something because it, his um inflation. Ah, like, oh, there's a ring. There's a funky looking arrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know we're about to die. Nah, man. You're not going to die when I say stuff like that. Oh, they did not embed. Okay, there is a funky looking arrow in here. I posted it in the Discord because I'm not going through the hassle of moving it into Fantasy Grounds. There is a scroll which at least one of you will recognize as Remove Curse. Uh, mm. Two. <clears throat> two people. There is a collection of tiny opals worth about 115 gold. And there are six different holy symbols to Irori. Oh. <clears throat> they are made of wood. Huh? Um. Bink looks around and says, I prefer that we not take their possessions until we leave the temple. Oh. We will be leaving a hefty donation, though, correct? I was planning on leaving them donations in copper. Okay. I guess I'll give you three if there. It's just one arrow. It's kind of lame. Okay, you don't have anybody with arrows in oh, your no, party. I, don't. <laughs> I have arrows. <laughs> Fucked. Actually, yes. Bald I, have, does. I have six. I have sixty arrows. <laughs> 
Three, three specialties. Okay. Duly noted. Oh, Biggles, roll a d4 for me then. Uh, oh, hold up. There we go. There are three arrows. Ooh. You all, come the back to, funky you all can come back to that later. Yeah, they're really funky arrows. I don't know if anybody has identified in this party, so you yeah. all have to spend time figuring out how those things work. Yep. But there is a, in here you found a ring with the string with a spider motif on it that is in pristine condition. Three arrows with multicolored um, that seem to give off interesting arcane energy when you pick them up. There's a scroll of remove curse some gems, and there are holy symbols to Irori. Hmm. Which is the god of this temple. Yeah. Um, Bink is going to walk over to one of the wooden... He's going to take one of the holy symbols off of... I assume it's like on a on like a banister of... Like... I'm going to send one of the chests. Oh, one of the chests. Uh, there are just six of them left out in the chest. Uh, Bank is going to take one and say, I'm borrowing this. He says loudly in common. Okay. <laughs> and then he walks back out. Are you going to wear it or are you just going to keep it? I'm going to wear it. Okay. You may do so. What would the rest of you like to do? Um, Are we going to leave the... Did we pick up the magic items or are we leaving them as they are? Mm, the party is the current attitude is leave them until you're leaving the temple. Got it. Or Sounds at least good. cleared it. The remove curse might be good for breaking uh breaking some haunts. Um Yeah. You wanna you wanna but, borrow that? Borrow it? I mean like I can't <laughs> I I say that in jest. Um, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna, I say we leave it there for now until we uh, figure out if what we need to do. Whether there's, I'd say it's like a last resort sort of thing for. Sure. If we can't figure out a better way to deal with deal with something. We we say we're using this to cleanse your temple, and we use it to cleanse the temple. Yeah. What could this thing get in and out? So. Okay. Time. At, least that, at least that's my take. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, Bink Bink agrees that we should use it as a last resort. Time to go to the kitchens. All right. Onward! Oh, there's an open wall? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Several wooden tables occupy this dining hall. A wooden door to the north allows entry into the room from the outside. An open doorway to the west connects to a kitchen, and smaller doorways to the south connect to the temple's courtyard. We're concerned about this being haunted, right? Yes. Um, Amatar will tell you that he used an unseen servant to clean this cafeteria and the connecting kitchen from a distance. But he doesn't like going in there because it's haunted. All right. Um, if I use Divine Sense, would that give me like an idea of where potential haunted items are in the room? Yeah, so I'll tell you with Divine Sense oh, that the room doesn't necessarily have, like, creatures or ghosts in it that are, mm -hmm. like, stat blocks to hit. Of course. But you it get a that. sense that the that this once consecrated place has somehow become desecrated. Okay. Sort of as a result of the activities that are here. Let me see if there's a way to suppress this haunt too. Pathfinder has some actually fairly interesting ideas about um, hazards and long-term disabling of them that I actually think is really fucking good and is probably something I want to reconfigure for 5th edition. Um. So is the entire place just desecrated or is there a particular object that's been desecrated? It's like, I don't want to use, like, I don't want to necessarily use those fifth edition terms because like fifth edition has very specific ways of handling desecration and consecration. Yeah. I, I assume that they're like, I assume that they're not quite the same as the hollow spell. I'm just, you uh, get the sense that there's a continual presence that's lingering in this area. It doesn't trigger because you're standing outside of it clearly because mm -hmm. you can sense it. I'll say, I'm not sure. I guess I'll get let you make a specialized religion check. Here. Make a religion check for me at advantage. All right, religion at advantage. All right, 
Let's... Got this. You can guidance him. Ooh, perfect. I was just going to ask if I got a chance to do right. that. I mean, yeah. you're standing like you're a you're a fucking a divine soul sorcerer standing next to a paladin yeah. as you're trying to figure out how haunted something is. You can cast guidance on him. All okay. right, here we go. What do we go? Double nines. Double nines. <laughs> Double nines. You're not entirely certain how you would go about disabling this particular one, but given the uh, other ways things have been solved, mm -hmm. uh, you would maybe need to say some sort of Aurorin prayer okay in the correct manner or you could use arcana and create specific wards that would uh set down some of these hauntings i know i know nothing of either of these topics but um i assume that the people who've been doing the work have a better idea of that <laughs> than i do at this point i relay what i can um I am simply not a smart lad. But if you need me to walk in, I will go. Uh, Fink starts musing to himself, and he's like, well, we've dealt with an angry monk that shot lightning. Monks that pelted us with earth. I would suspect that there is fire involved in the kitchen. I think, it's a ki I think it might be angry kitchen staff. You think angry, like angry kitchen staff? Mm-hmm. Poltergeist. Mm -hmm. You can be angry, Baldrick. I can be what? Angrier than them. <laughs> Alright. <Yeah. laughs> um Because you rage. Volthanir is yeah. gonna look to uh look to Bink and Minerva because they're the, the most spellcastery and possibly the most capable of either creating those wards or muttering those prayers. Um and if they don't have anything he's going to walk in. Does Minerva have Arcana? I don't think she does. Uh, I do. Okay. Okay. Um, can, Bank can and Minerva, you two can team up. You can team up and you can give one of each other help. You can use guidance for this. We'll see how it works out. Um, Bance, what, what is your positive for Arcana? Uh, plus five. Uh, Bank will motion for you to join him <laughs> and he'll guidance you up here okay. next to the door. So I just roll an advantage then? No. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 but one second. Let me yes. put guidance on you first. Okay. Yeah, you beat me out by one, so <laughs> I might as well use what we got. <laughs> Working together, Minerva pulls on knowledge from beyond herself and uses her Rod of the Pact Keeper, and she mutters a couple of strange guttural arcane words. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and there's a flash of a couple of abjuration symbols in the air. And then there's almost a shattering sound in the back of all of your heads. But you get the sense that something worked, Minerva. The DC for this was 23. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. What's if kind you... of funny is Minerva isn't that smart. <laughs> no, She's trained. But it's trained. But you're trained. That's what matters. Also, yeah. guidance did put you over the threshold. You would... <laughs> yeah. All right. Volfinger walks in. You walk in, and ready. the ghosts of monks who were eating their dinner when an attack started do not appear and start throwing shit at you. We missed out on a food fight? Not exactly a food fight. More like spectral knives doing like 3d10 plus 5 bludgeoning damage. Jesus oh, H. Christ. Shit. That sounds like a food fight to me. Yeah. <laughs> food fight with extra steps. You also get pulled into the room like right away. <laughs> oh. the, does both in the air get pulled in now or no? Are you sure? Do I? No. No. Uh, it didn't happen. You disabled it. All right. Uh, then I, I motion. But yeah, this was a refectory of some sort. It was very clear that meals were shared here, and you get a sense from the design here that everything in here was used regularly but cared for with extreme. Uh, with the, the, there was consistent care put into this place. Like Even though it's been centuries, you're impressed by the durability of the craftsmanship here. Wait, was it actually... Uh... 
Was it actually angry kitchen staff flinging knives at each other? Well, at us. Um, it would have been no. at us if we hadn't done something. It's not... It wouldn't have been kitchen staff. You get the sense from the couple of rooms you've been in. This place was once incredibly peaceful, but was suddenly attacked. Judging mm -hmm. by the extreme presence of ghostly monks who seem hell-bent on defending the temple. Everything else that you would know about Arori and the nature of this temple means that this was likely an incredibly peaceful place. And something traumatic definitely happened here. Mm. Uh, Bink will call back to Amatar. Is the proper pronunciation? <laughs> he pokes around the corner. It says, uh, currently, there are no ghosts in the kitchen, if you would like to join us as we poke around. Mm. Yeah, Bink walks through the door and says, see? <laughs> he'll, he'll stay right here next to Minerva and wait to see what else happens to you all. <laughs> He's very curious, but he also knows that he is not a level 11 character. <laughs> Can I just, like, put my elbow on his head while we're chilling together? Or would uh, that be considered rude? <laughs> make a generalized uh, charisma check at disadvantage. Oh, God. Because short people don't like when tall people put their fucking elbows on their fucking heads. Fuck, I dropped a 20! He very awkwardly allows you to leave it on his head because he's low-key scared of you. But he is not having a good time. So bad, I could have had that 20. <laughs> Okay, uh, you walk into the kitchen. Yes, a large stone sense. oven takes up the southwestern corner of this simple kitchen, and a door in the northern wall leads to a sparse pantry. An open doorway to the east connects to a large dining area. Um, I think we'd like to look inside the stove to see if there was anything that lasted inside the stove. Not in the stove, but you do notice a, little, uh, a strange looking decanter that has not cover that is not covered in any dust. Hmm. Okay, there's a decanter. Decanters are cool. Does it have anything in it? Not currently. Is it a decanter of endless lava? Endless <laughs> lava? <laughs> <laughs> I mean you gotta heat up the stove somehow, right? Uh, it is not a decanter of endless lava, but if you're familiar with the item, you can try pouring some water in its sink and see what happens. Do you take it? I don't know. I'm not touching it. <laughs> um, Bink will reach out for the decanter and see if it can pour it into a basin. No, you pick it up, nothing happens to it, but as soon as you start to pour it into something, water magically appears out of it into the basin you're pouring it into, and the stream is perfect and does not seem as if the flow is receding at any point. Hmm. Oh, it's got that perfect laminar, uh, laminar mm -hmm. sculpting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you achieve that, it's chef's kiss. <laughs> um, Bink will show it to the group and say, I'll, I'll just hold on to this in case we need some fresh water. Uh, and then we'll wander up into the north to check their storage house. Right away, there's a strange vial in there with... What's the description of it? Uh, there's a vial with a slightly red tinge to it in there. Mm. Uh, there is also... Please tell me I have art. <laughs> yes! <laughs> there is also a strange set of... <laughs> okay. Prayer beads in the room. Oh no! Cool. That looks like a fucking charm bracelet. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! That's cool. That's, that's, that's very. They look like little fuses. It's like they got them from Pandora. <laughs> yeah, fuses. He went to Jared. Scrolls. He went to Jared. <laughs> oh, scrolls. Well, that's that's, that's what's fair. floating inside them. I thought, well, I mean, I thought there were fuses floating inside the fuses, but, you know. <laughs> I, 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 that's true, but they are, they all look different on the inside, so that I assumed they were scrolls of different types. Um, mm, well, I don't have Identify, so. <laughs> neither do I, so, but uh, Bink will motion for Volthnir to 
uh, grab either, the things either, either, for you. you. You either come stand next to me while I grab them, or back up so you don't take any harm if something goes wrong. Your choice. Uh, I'm gonna be within ten. I'll, I'll stand next to you, sure. Okay. Uh, Bank collects the vial and the necklace that you can see. Nothing happens to you. <laughs> God damn it, Sarge, the way you say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you get the sense that Objects left behind for everyday purpose are likely not trapped. Like, you haven't run into any traps in this place that have been set posthumously. Everything that you've encountered has either been something that existed before whatever happened to this temple, or are spectral byproducts of the horrors that befell this place. Yeah, this we've been in the public spaces, essentially. Mm -hmm. and you, wouldn't, you wouldn't trap public places. I mean, this is a pantry. Yeah. That vial has some other purpose. Again, this is third edition, so mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes there were a lot of there were a lot of potions around for everyday uses. Like in fifth edition, you'd be like, what the fuck? Why is this just sitting here? In third edition, you'd just be like, oh no, no that makes sense. Um, well, somebody passed the salt. <laughs> uh any of these crates still closed or are they all mostly rotted? Any food byproducts that would be here would have long since rotted away. Okay, so I think we'll take the lid off of all of the crates just to see if to make sure that it's all food stuffs and then leave that. I'll, I'll assist to make it go faster. Yeah. I mean, very quickly you find that any remaining food in here has either rotted away or smaller creatures have burrowed their way in and eaten what was in there. Okay. Okay. Other than that, the kitchen looks like it's in mostly working order if you took a little bit of time to check on some components you could easily use the space for its intended purpose yeah okay we've got a place okay. to make dinner and breakfast we all know it's currently we're clean amatar cleaned it via his unseen servant okay uh bink says it it's all clear and i've touched everything that would go wrong it's probably safe to come in here without us oh he goes walking around <laughs> he pulls out a little notepad, starts taking notes to himself. Oh, what was uh, there, feng shui? Bink will point out the uh, the location that the decanter was at, so that he knows wh where they stored their water. So oh, he... I wonder if this was for periods when the well was dry. I wonder if they made this themselves, or if it was gifted to them. Hmm. He starts mumbling to himself. Hmm. Enjoy yourself. Uh, we will probably need your help soon. Oh, fuck. There is a well. Is there an encounter in this? Oh, I'm not fixing that. Where's the well? Where's the well? It's oh, it's, it's to the north. It's to the north of the uh, the chamber of with the uh, the, the hex. The hex. Uh, the, 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 not the hex. The, the room with a lightning person. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'd be willing to check that out, uh, but first... Um... Yeah, we should go into the dojo proper and then check out their tree to the south, maybe? Step into the dojo. Oh. Yeah. No fear! A safe modicum amount of fear. No fear okay. in the dojo. Oh, shit, we're going into the... Uh training space okay straight leaves and twigs dot the sand pit in the center of this oval open area halls lead north and south an open doorway to the west looks out on a small pond while to the east is a large shrine okay do we want to check the shrine first or go south mm. assuming that we don't just uh yeah. Uh, as a note, all of the sand is considered difficult terrain. No. Uh oh. Well, oh, then Bank is going to walk over the walkway. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do the same. Vol yeah, Volthnir will try to do the same. <laughs> I've been waiting my entire life to encounter quicksand because as a child, I thought it was going to be <laughs> such a more prominent danger than it really is. Like many of us. I like that technique. We fully expect it to. Get our asses. Did I accidentally just token stag bant and duck? I think so. <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
<laughs> shake it. Shake them apart. I'm trying to press the buttons. I can't remember which ones I'm supposed to press to Can unstack them. Maybe Aduna or Minerva hit an arrow key to move. There we go. Oh, God. Ooh. Son of a yeah. bitch. Huh. <laughs> I moved Ducky over so Ducky could get, come and catch up with you all in case something popped up and then instantly demolished myself. Um, For, for reference, is this open mm -hmm. air? Uh, no. Okay. But you can see that there is some damage to the wall at the back of the shrine. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, that's... Okay, that's Not probably true. the end. There seems like this was clearly some sort of communal space. It's the one of the largest spaces you've been in. Likely f had... It was a multi-purpose space. Hmm. Let's uh cool. let's go check out the tree to the south. Yeah. Trying. Let's go counterclockwise. Makes sense. Um yeah, what I what I'd like to do um, Yeah, what's up? So uh, I'm gonna let's see here, what can I see within sixty feet? Alright. So if I use Divine Sense now, mm -hmm. um I'm only gonna be able to get basically most of the dojo and uh the shrine to the south. I would like to use Divine Sense to see... Oh, did, oh, wait, do we know if there's... Let me check my notes. I might be jumping the gun here. Um. Oh, I don't think I have notes on this. This thing down here. Did did Amatar have anything on this? Um, Amatar will tell you that this meditation... It's probably mm -hmm. some sort of tree used for meditation purposes, seeing as it is indoors. Okay. Um, I don't think he would know ex exact purpose because there's some stuff here that I don't think he would know. Hmm. Let's see. Well, oh, he might know this. He would say that he would have probably thought that the monks believed that this tree, which is incredibly beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'll read the description for you. A large and colorful eucalyptus tree stands at the center of this chamber, reaching towards the sky through a square window in the ceiling. An old skeleton lies slumped against the base of the tree. Bones spotted with fallen peels of multicolored bark. Okay. Amid the bark scraps lies a single silver feather. A hallway to the north serves as entrance and exit from the chamber. All right. I'm going to pop a divine sense um, to get an idea of A, the dojo, and B, this 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 room. Mm, the dojo is not giving you any sort of pings. But cool. you are getting an undead signature from the bones, but it isn't localized to the bones. It's strange. Interesting. I relay this to the party. <laughs> so... There's an undead presence. It's from the bones, but not strictly in the bones. So we have two options. <laughs> we can see the feather, which means Minerva can grab the feather with Mage Hand. Mm. Or we can go inside and maybe try to help or harm, put to rest, what else, whatever is undead inside before taking mm. Up to you. I Paul. think we should resolve as many of these issues as possible to restore this temple to its original purpose and beauty. <clears throat> um... Volthunir, um, what would Volthunir want? On one hand, he's he's with Baldric on this, but on the other hand, he knows that our greatest duty right now, he, Volthunir would say, um, I see the the justice in your words, brother brother Ramsey. However, we are here <laughs> to make sure that it. <laughs> we are here to make sure that we are successful in our our tournament bout. In order to do that. We need to have all of our items beforehand. So, oh, Minerva, will you uh, grab the feather for us? And uh, we'll let that decide how we proceed. Okay. Minerva will attempt to use Mage Hand to go grab the feather. Uh, as the Mage Hand moves across the the area floating, mm -hmm. does your Mage Hand move slowly or does it like wind around? 
I like the idea of it like kind of skittering around like a little spider guy. Okay. Ah. As it skitters towards the bones, as it reaches the bones, uh, the mage hand is destroyed as a spectral creature rises from the bones. Hmm. Are we rolling initiative? Not yet. Hmm. Did my whale not go through? That's sad. <laughs> um. Oh, incredible disappointment. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I think. Uh, let me get the art for this person out. Kanitri. No, that's Bakme. <laughs> uh, I can go in, and then Balgrick and uh. uh -oh. This woman appears out of it. She is clearly a monk of some sort. You notice. Um, holy symbols to Aurori on here, but she's covered in wounds and bruises. And as she wails, she's screaming out and she looks towards you all and her eyes widen unusually large. It's horrifying. Okay. As she's begging you desperately, please forgive me. We were wrong. What do you want to do? Um, uh, well, I'm going to get my great sword out. <laughs> Ducky's like, there's only one solution to all of these problems. <laughs> oh, pure. yeah. Okay. Um, I oh. think or Minerva are our primary occultist experts here. Uh, he... This is a this is a single round reaction. I'm gonna go down real quick. Uh, Minerva, what do you want to do? There is a female ghost in front of you begging for forgiveness. She looks to be some sort of powerful monk. Um. Can I try to calm her down? What do you want to say? Um, I'll try to tell her that we are not who she thinks we are. We are unaffiliated with whoever hurt her. We're just here to help. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you sent that out. Bink, what do you want to do? Uh, Bink will call out to her and say, those that have harmed you are long dead. You can rest. They do not exist. Well, Planeer? Um, I think I'm going to slowly advance. Um, just cautiously. But uh, here, I'm going to actually stay right there. Oh, just, oh, so, okay. just so we're within range of my uh, auras. Are you going to say okay. anything? Um, oof. I'm going to just mostly have my shield out. Um, just as like an offensive stance, it's not a, it, it's not a, um, aggre it's not aggressive. It doesn't look like I'm, I don't have my flail ready right now. What are you going to say? I wasn't going to say anything. Okay. Uh, Baldrick, are you going to say anything? Yeah. What do you want to say? Baldrick is a, you are forgiven. Mm. Ah. You may make a deception or persuasion check. Oh, let's see here. Persuasion. Oh, it doesn't matter either way. I mean it with sincerity, so persuasion. So. Hmm. Hmm. She looks to you briefly with a sense of hope. Hmm. But then she does not believe you. Please roll initiative. Oh. Damn, oh, the rest of them got to move. Can I move? Oh, uh, like, yeah. Um, I mean, I moved, I moved you behind the rest of the party because you're originally in the middle of the sand. You can move yourself. Okay. I was going to move here and take the dodge action. <laughs> oh, laggy, laggy, laggy. When seeking truth. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, let's see. Then every money roll. Okay. She moves first. We lost somebody. We lost Chucky. She's dead. Yeah, she's third in line for her initiative. Hmm. 
And she's back. Sorry, someone called the the ringer, so I had to pick it up to let them in. Uh, but I rolled initiative. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, did you break my fucking character again? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Kanitri rushes towards you. Uh, she yells some sort of foul epithets as she launches into a strike. Something about how the weak should suffer. Ah, uh, yes! Hmm. Hmm. You picked the wrong target. Okay, you take thunder damage. You make a constitution saving throw. You are deafened and stunned. Until the start of their turn. Okay. They're going to bonk you. Well, they're going to spread this out because they want to bonk everybody. They're going to have to... Because they have two uses of this one. So they're going to bonk Ducky's character on the head for this too. Okay. And then they get one attack with the Staff of Striking. Oh, which is broken. Great! Rip. Plus, I'll just use the Thunder Strike to attack to hit. Oh, I got his ass! <laughs> uh, I'm so thankful I'm immune to crits. I got his ass! <laughs> Can expand up to three charges for additional. Oh, that's cute. We'll burn one here because we think we got a crit and we think it's going to hurt. Hmm. All right, boom. Hmm. Oh, well, that's cute. Let's see. One, two, three, four. As a bonus action, they mm -hmm. will disengage. Well, they got a fast speed. Jeez. All right. Monk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least I think they are. Okay! Uh, Baldrick, you're up. Okay. Uh, as she's leaving, after she hits you, you can hear her pleading under her breath for forgiveness after she stunned you and then hit oh. the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, I can't I can't actually hear that. Everybody else maybe. Yeah, everybody deafened, hears so. Oh, that's right, you're sorry, deaf. Sorry. Unless you sing it in my brain, like, in which no, case, so okay. Listen to your brain. Uh, Valdrick, you're up. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't know. I ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, the bones are still on the ground, right? Mm-hmm. All right, well, I can't really do much with them anyways. I'll just throw a javelin at her. Okay. No, I'll make it a hand axe. Okay. Go for it. Where's her room? Dun 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 dun. Dodge. I'll throw another hand axe. Yeah. And, uh. <laughs> It seems that, like many spectral creatures, regular right. weapons are less effective against them. Yes. Yeah, I'll just consider that my turn, then. Okay, tap the button. Aduna? Hi! Um, 
Five, ten. Oh, six. sorry. At the end of Baldrick's turn, she's going to use a legendary action. I oh. Okay, then. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, she's gonna move to this side of the room because she's worried about some of your backliners. Okay. Oh shit! You threw a thing at. Oh well, whatever. She wouldn't have cared about that. Twenty. I'll take the fucking dodge action again. <laughs> um. Mid search. At the end of... Oh, how many legendary actions do I have, actually? What the hell is that legendary? House. Oh, no! I don't get to use that! Ooh! I will do this, though. She'll use a legendary action to move back <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I know we're going to want to activate next one. <laughs> Ducky said that's enough, Thank you so <laughs> Uh, Band, it's your turn. What would you, what would Nerva like to do? From here, is she in just regular cover? Three quarters. Three quarters. Okay. You'll have to go further in if you want to avoid cover. Uh, I'm just gonna try it from out here. <laughs> Band said, "Nah, I fell into that shit before." Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am going to hex her first. Go on me. Sure. Pick what's that you want to hex. Gonna, Maximum over gonna, bonk. Yep, I'm gonna blast her. Make sure you toggle cover. I think I did. I know, you did. First attack misses. Second attack. Okay. Ooh. That still goes through. Third attack. She's not happy about that. Uh, Bink, what would you like to do? Uh, does she take uh, She whispers a horrible epithet at uh, Minerva as you back off. <laughs> In a language I don't think you know. Uh, I know the... What's it called? But I don't know if that's the same language she speaks. She, it doesn't translate well into English, but she compared you to ground dwelling insects as you backed off. <laughs> I've been called worse. The delivery in Tian is much harsher than <laughs> in English. I was like, <laughs> so Bink will move out of line of sight with the spirit and is going to twin spell haste onto Baldric and Luna. Okay, mark off your sorcery points, deploy your spells. Oh, nice. That's a third spell. Oh, it already did it for me. Thank you. And working off the net magic. All righty. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, I'm going to move back over here and move out of line of sight. Actually, no. Moving right behind the paladin. Nice. At the end of your turn, she will use her last legendary action. Five. Now! Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Also near is stunned. Yep. I guess they don't they don't provoke opportunity attacks. They're monks. Uh, this movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. <laughs> <laughs> using her crane dance. Cool. Okay, you stupid bird. <laughs> oh, it's her turn again. Uh, you are no longer stunned, Voltonir. This may matter because she's about to punch this sorcerer who cast an annoying spell. She doesn't um, know that. Am I still deafened? Oh, I would, I would argue uh, that she did not see that. That's true. She didn't see the spell cast. She That's also didn't even see the effects because neither one of them has taken a turn. She did hear a male voice casting spells, though. Yes. She did. Um, I'm gonna rule that she's gonna punch you out of habit because you were a spellcaster making noises. I, that is fair. <laughs> I, I forgot to argue. I forgot to argue like last week because the cleric couldn't see Aduna get hasted but got dispelled. 
I think haste has like a visible impact on people though. No, like they're the, clearly the, moving the faster. Of, the wall of stone was in between the cleric and Aduna, and Aduna hadn't had her turn yet, so she would only see Baldric get the haste on her. I forgot to argue last week to try to protect Ducky, but <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm doing my best. <laughs> um, can I get the deaf and stun condition removed from me? Oh, did they not wear off? Oh, I guess the timing was off on them. Well, mm -hmm. oh, they did not target. They did not set up for a round. Weird. Mm. Oh, frustrating. Okay. All right. What is my abilities? Do, do your worst. Oh, oh yes, I will. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a thunder strike. Did I roll a one? Oh, okay, I hit. Um, uh, boy. All right, here we go. We're gonna temporary hit points is still damage for uh concentration, right? Mhm. Mm All right. I don't have warring bond on you. All right, fuck it. Um, I am going to take the damage for you on this one. You're gonna replace it with your hit points, or are you gonna use interception? Actually, wait, I gotta see. I gotta see the damage first for that. Actually, but I'm not. I'm not gonna use interception. I'm gonna wait to see the the damage and then pull it. Because okay, that's. I'll that's roll how this in the chat window works. then. Yeah. It is. Oh, whoops! Oh. It was twenty nineteen damage. Nineteen damage. Okay. Um. All right. We'll, well save it then. for the next attack, because he just yeah. pushed through his temp HP. That's fine. She... Oh, wait, the other one hexed her. Five... No, she's going to provoke opportunity attack for me if she does that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 10, 15, 20. Mm. She doesn't have reach for that. Oh, you guys are in the way! <laughs> I, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Oh, I know how to be extra annoying. Okay. No, you got hasted people, though. That's going to be even more entertaining. I think I'm going to bonk this one in the head again. Oh, wait. You still have to succeed on Constitution saving throw. Hey, we got his wait. ass. Oh, mm. For the stun? Yeah. Even if, even if I took that, even if I absorbed the damage, you'd have to save for that. You I, are I'd like to roll deafened hey, and stop, stunned. Sarge, stop, Sarge. I'm going to use my. Wait, what? I'm going to use my divine. Uh, uh, Son of a bitch! Roll the two d four. I pass. All right. Oh Just, my fucking take that god! Stun off. <laughs> I just want to bonk people in the fuck. <laughs> Damn it! Um, Bink, you still have two guidances on you. You might want to remove those. Oh, thanks. You might want to put the the haste concentration on too. Yeah, but... uh, the on haste the concentration fucking... is. It's on the players. Yeah. Okay. Guidance okay. Is... Um, untarget Bink before you roll that damage, please. Okay. You taking it this time? Uh, if I can see it. Yeah. No, it's, you can. it's like the reaction is to take damage in, instead of someone else. Um, Does it's that whenever mean someone... also take the effect from them? That's not what... I don't think so, but... Okay. So I damage you. Bonk. Alright. That's... Cool. New con save for Bink. Oh, man, I really want to hit Minerva, though. Honestly. It's the one I really want to hit Finally. my fucking head. Um... No oh, fuck, he succeeded this time. Good shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, then I'm gonna hit you with my staff of striking. Huh? For good measure. And I missed. Yes! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> hmm. Oh, but you used a reaction! Uh, the... That is not a reaction. Oh, uh, Valk did. Yes. I used my reaction, yes. Sure, she can move over there. Five. 
15, Fuck, this is gonna be a change. 35. Yes! We got her ass! Hmm. Baldrick, you're up. You're hasted. You have double movement. <laughs> Hope she wasn't planning on getting away. Remember, that's difficult terrain. <laughs> yeah, 45, 50. Big um, said that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is still alternating between yelling horrible things at you and desperately begging for forgiveness for what she's done. Mm. You should make Clearly she's mind. gone insane. You I can expend an action or bonus action to try to pacify her. She is a ghost. But you do have to make a charisma, persuasion, or deception check as you have seen from Baldrick. Noted. Fuck. What would you like to do? Oh, wait. Okay, so I can, can I can technically use my action to try to make this uh, charisma um, persuasion. The DC and then is high. Use use the haste. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> oh, fuck, and I only have like a plus one to charisma. So I... if it's anything above twenty. Also, your the DC probably would go up if you smacked her after trying to do it. It doesn't. Don't worry about that. She's already engaged in combat. Don't worry about that part. Okay. okay. Anyway, <laughs> finish your turn, Biggles. I'll do it once. I'll do. I'll, go, I'll give her one. I'll give her one. Uh, it's like the scene from Goodwill Hunting. It's not your fault. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, are you using your action or bonus action? Um. Well, I'm hasted, so my the hasted action has to be an attack. But my hasted action has very action, specific things it can be used for. Only your yeah, standard action or your standard bonus action. action can be used for this. Okay, well, I'll use bonus action then. Two. Say you are forgiven. Make a persuasion check. Go on, get lucky. Oh. Close. Close. But no Close cigar. <laughs> she looks at me, and then, sadly, and then I'm just like, return the look, and I'll bonk. <laughs> 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 All right, you may there. proceed with your weapons. Oh, Biggles went reckless. All right. Uh, and this is a hasted action, right? So I only get one weapon attack. Are you using your bonus action for something else? Oh, right. Yeah, I use my bonus action for the pacify. The, uh, pacify. pacify. So yeah, have, so you get three attacks. Go for it. Yeah, okay. Three, three main hand. Smack. And then... Yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay, well, for bonking her as a legendary <laughs> action at the end of your turn... How many does it cost me to use that? Two! Alright, fine, fuck it. I'm gonna hit this stupid barbarian in the fucking head. Yeah, we got his ass. Partially absorbed on my fucking god. <laughs> you are forgiven. Every time I turn around. Oh my god. Mother fuck. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to do? Oh, wait, your turn's over. Aduna, you're up. All right. We're still hasted, right? Yes. You are okay. still I hasted. Did Jazzy it. did not get <laughs> bonked hard enough. <laughs> ah. 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. I'm here. <sighs> Where is here? Okay. Just oh, target. Target. There we go. Ducky's like, that's enough of me <laughs> not being involved in the fights that matter. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that the fire is not as effective. <laughs> That's gonna do it. <laughs> there is one last pained wail from her as her spectral form dissipates. <laughs> as Ducky continues to swipe at Holy the shit. air where she was. Oh boy. 
damage exceeds hit points by 31. Mm. Uh, Damn. Uh, my computer's a little sluggish right now. Uh, yeah, am I closing the map and reopening it again? Uh, yeah. I don't know if I can close the map. Oh, there we go. Oh, it took me a couple there. seconds before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll see things like yeah, you'll see your chat go crazy. Yeah, it's a lot better now. Okay, all right. We're there good. must be some sort of weird memory leak occurring around that image right now. Probably. There's a lot going on. Uh, uh, Bink will will call to Aduna and say, "Hey, maybe collect those bones or the feather." Are there bones? In oh. The feather yeah. or the bones while you're fast and bring it out here. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the the feather and the bones. You yeah, have the feather. So scoop them. Pick up. He can scoop up the bones. Let's see. What's the end aspect of it? Da, 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 da. Emotions, humanity, rage, and guilt. Hateful insult and cries out for forgiveness during the fight. I think that's it. Hmm. 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 Now that we have Ooh, the bones, know. we'll ask. Uh, I think we should ask uh, burial uh, rites. Yeah, burial rites from. Uh, there is a place outside where people get buried. That was one way to pacify the ghost. Don't think it will apply. You can still do it, but I don't think it has any other impact at this point because you've defeated her spirit. Yeah. Um. But you do have three feathers now. But no necklace. No necklace yet. Yeah, so the necklace has got to be somewhere around. Um, Bink is going to mm -hmm. walk inside and uh, ask Minerva to join him so we can look around the tree and see if there was anything left behind. All right. Uh, I stop concentrating on, on haste. <laughs> All right, Baldrick and Aduna, you feel a little sluggish for a round? And then Bink is going to help Minerva wander around looking for stuff in here. Investigation? Second, let me uh, perception or investigation. I'll allow either one for this one. Let me put guidance on you real quick. And there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find anything of note, but studying the bones and their placement, uh, it looks like whoever she was, she stumbled into here and died here. Uh, but it doesn't look like she was meditating towards the end. It looks like she was maybe just laying against the tree. And judging by the lingering remorse that was tearing apart her psyche... You do not think she was one of the defenders. You pulled hmm. a Boromir. No, she wasn't a defender. Oh, she, she was a. She, she was, a... was wearing the holy symbol of Arori, but you did not get the sense that she was one of the defenders of the temple. Hmm. Oh no! Was this like? Was there like some sort of infighting heresy going on? Oh no! Or maybe she was a convert in her final hours. Or maybe they cursed her. I don't know. Interesting. Um, you what said was the, what is the... Sorry. Go ahead. You said there's multicolored bark from this eucalyptus. Like, vibrant bark. Mm -hmm. uh, the tree looks like it had intense spiritual purposes uh, for them. You're not entirely certain if it's magical or not. It doesn't seem like it's magical. It just seems like a tree. But it's clear that this tree was incredibly important for the monks who worshipped here. Okay. Uh, I think we'll take some of the shedded bark. Eucalyptus okay. are always dirty, so there's plenty around. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, he'll uh, Rory, I think, was Justice. Okay. A kindred spirit. Oh. You get, like, the holy symbol is very different from yours, but you can see some of the same sort of, like, maybe archaic influences that may have led to similar... Sure. Let's see. 
Let's see, Arori is Master of Masters, the perfect human, lawful neutral. Areas of concern are history, knowledge, and self-perfection. Their edicts are be humble, help others perfect themselves, hone your body, mind, and spirit to a more perfect state, and practice discipline. Okay. Anathema to them is become addicted to a substance, destroy an important historical text, repeatedly fail to maintain self-control. All right, very much self-discipline. Very close to a kind of glory paladin sort of feel. Knowledge, might, perfection, truth were their two E domains. Okay. Sounds good. Their uh, holy symbol is an open blue palm. Okay. Okay. Um. Cool. Um. If we're sure there was nothing else we wanted to really investigate in that room, um, I don't know. Wolfenu knows nothing about nature, so any of those special properties of that this tree might have are going to be completely lost on him. Um, <laughs> as cool as they might be, the tree looks like it's mostly here for religious purposes. It's not inherently magical. Oh, time to Likely check related out the to their beliefs. Time to check out the shrine at the end. Yeah. Check outside. Mm -hmm. you gotta find that necklace. Well, I mean, there's also the the area to the north. Yes. It's like a garden, um, right? Yeah. Oh, God. What if the fucking necklace is in the fucking well? <laughs> you know, damn well. It's gonna be, be a the... throwback. It'd be a throwback <laughs> to that, that candle keep mystery. <laughs> <laughs> fucking well. <laughs> or the salt, the salt mark second entrance through the well. If it makes you feel better things. about whether or not it's in the well, I forgot there was a well on this map. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. You don't know it's one hundred percent in the. In I the might know this. If it makes you feel slightly better, I forgot there was a fucking well on the well. map. It makes me as a player feel better, but both when you're in the back of his mind, I was like, I better, I hope we don't have to go down that well that, that the kid mentioned. <laughs> so I'm guessing Amatar mentioned the well, maybe. All right, Bink. As you approach this shrine, tarnished bells, frayed ribbons, and crumbling wooden beams surround the massive statue at the center of this shrine space, which is set into an alcove at the eastern side of the temple's open air training area. Six steps lead up to a clearing where one can sit before the large statue, which depicts a smiling old man seated in a cross-legged position and holding a staff. A pair of braziers stand on either side of the steps, and various prayer instruments lie scattered before the statue. The alcove's northern wall is badly damaged with a 15-foot wide gap that reveals the forest outside the temple. The braziers aren't lit, right? Not currently. Where were you when you used Divine Sense? I was not close enough. Okay. I would I would have to have been yeah, I would have been no 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 no. I wouldn't have been close enough to Divine Sense anything on that shrine. Do you mention the braziers not being lit? They are not lit. No, no but uh both in here, since Val Valk thought of it. Uh Volthanir Volthanir would probably know like, well this I mean Volthanir's Volthanir is someone of, of faith and probably knows, like, all right, well, you, you're you dealing with shrines. Usually, whenever something's active, it's it's lit. Um, if we're, if there's any rites that are to be before, performed. Just from, like, his history and his devotionals that he's done. Uh, so, so Bink aims a, a firebolt and lights them <laughs> counterclockwise. Do you have prestidigitation? No, I don't. Uh, do I have a... F I would just use a flint and steel. But yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, you want to use a flint and steel? Go for it. I would... I'd rather use a flint... Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, please tell me I have a flint and steel. I have a tinder box. I'll use yes, a tinder yes, box. tinder box, yeah. We also have a flaming sword. <sighs> yeah. I have yeah, a do. flaming rope. Would you like to... <laughs> Would Baldrick's you like, like oh, <laughs> my time has come. <laughs> Finally, would either of you like to use your items to do that? Because I'll happily let you do so. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna both do it. Aduna right, just walks guys. up and just pulls out the flame tongue and just taps it to the brazier. Yeah, I'll, I'll let Aduna do that. I'm gonna save the fire. Uh, you light the brazier, but it burns out very quickly as no new 
material is actually no like it's been recently cleaned up by um your okay. boy so yeah oh it's been cleaned and i wouldn't have been i wouldn't even bother to light it if there's nothing there then you get the sense like living on your previous it looks like um amatar came through here uh, as you step up here you notice there are some offerings before the shrine mm -hmm. there is a phoenix necklace which you recognize from what you were shown you also notice what appears to be a magical bag, not dissimilar from a bag of holding. Different cultural style, it seems. There's some sort of wondrous figurine here. And oh. some sort of... I don't know what this is in 5th edition. I'll figure out something. Some sort of like useful religious phylactery of some sort. And some sort of uh, fancy looking ring. And various coins and gems that have been placed here oh, look wow. like recently okay so basically our necklace is right here yeah yes all right um oh if i if we can see that i would like to divine sense my my last divine sense of the day before doing anything hasty before you is clearly a statue okay it isn't necessarily a celestial, but you are getting the same sort of ping from this statue that you might get from consecrated ground or a celestial being. Okay. That's very... I will allow you to make a religion check at advantage. Very ambivalent. Um, is, is guidance from bank permissive? <laughs> All you right. haven't done anything wrong, so sure. Okay. And I will hit my advantage and uh, right. roll my minus one religion. Yeah. Mm. This is likely a divine warden. Something you would have learned about from some of your contacts, mm -hmm. perhaps. Okay. Likely through... Decades and centuries of practice and meditation. Well, probably just decades. The temple wasn't that here that long. Mm -hmm. They imbued this statue with divine purpose, and it is likely a defender of the temple. Defender of the temple. All right. And given the offerings that have been placed before this, you will need to somehow present yourself to the statue in a mm -hmm. way that would make it not perceive you as someone likely trying to rob the temple. Understood. All right, so we need... So Ooh. I pro provide this information to the group. It seems like we need to provide something of equal or lesser... Equal or greater market value. <laughs> I will allow you, because you have reached the first check, this time you may make either a history or religion check. I would love to make a history check in which I am trained. All right. Uh, go. It's going to be a second. straight. Yeah, well, give me, uh, give me, like, oh, give okay. Unless this... somebody else has a way to give you advantage on this one. You can blow one. So Wait, can... You've had religion this whole time? Yeah. Can... God no, damn it, Bam! We've been making religion checks for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that I had religion. I thought it's okay. It oh wait, it's no, okay. I don't have religion. Never mind. Okay. I have history. Oh, I have history too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're you're the two of you can work together. Yes. How to enrage the party and then immediately <laughs> subdue it. <laughs> All right. God I'm, damn it! I, am I making this roll with advantage then? Uh, I think she's slightly smarter than you. You can help her if you want. All right, um, you you, you have help then. Take oh, the advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, one second. One second. Let me give guidance Come. to the. To the Confer with the warlock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you do know that there is a prayer that you can offer to the old man who is a figure of religious significance to the Irori as one of the early mm -hmm. followers of Aruri. Mm -hmm. Serves the same sort of religious and sort of folk tales that many of your parables might in other faiths and cultural histories. Okay. You may attempt to speak the prayer to 
assure the Guardian that you mean it no harm. Additionally, the faithful of Aurori, if they present themselves, will likely not be present will not be treated as hostiles by a divine warden. Okay. Ooh, what about those uh I've, I'm thinking the same thing, Skulls. Holy holy symbols. There were six so, of them. So one of either Minerva or Volthanir speak the prayer and Bink will assist them in collecting the I'd let Minerva do it because she made the uh, the history check. She made the breakthrough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Minerva, come speak the prayer, and I will assist you in collecting offerings. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to do, Minerva? Because she rolled high enough, you do know that everyone must speak the prayer with you. Ah. All right. I will relay that information. No okay. one thing out of this one. Okay. Bink, All right. Bink will say the prayer. He also has the holy symbol of uh, around his neck. Visual rivers. Uh, yes. Um, I join in the prayer uh, led by Minerva. I ain't taking any chances. Baldrick dashes back to the uh, <laughs> to the room where we saw the. Uh, You're gonna grab the holy host. symbol and come back. <laughs> Dead I'll be right back with you. I swear. Yeah, if you go and grab the holy symbols, if you all spend the three rounds it takes to mutter this, to utter this prayer, it's a longer mm -hmm. one. Okay. I put them on everybody like their Han uh, Hawaiian lays. The statue right. doesn't seem to change in any way. That's a good thing. But, what would you all like to do? Uh, um, Bink would like to reach for the uh, wondrous statuette. Okay. And pick it up. Volthanir would reach for the, the, the Phoenix necklace. I don't know if we even have this version of one of Wondrous Figurine in 5e. Let's go check. Wondrous Figurine! Oh, I guess it's a furry figurine of Wondrous Power. Do we have this one? Mahogany Hippopotamus. How did you guess my passwords? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a serpent one in 5th edition. Yet. We have a serpent owl. Serpentine owl. Serpentine owl? Isn't that a coedal? I'm just imagining an owl shaped like a I guess that's what I'll make it, sure. Um, it's a very fancy figurine. It's clearly magical. Uh, you have the necklace, though, uh, Volthonir. The statue right. does not react in any way. It does not get up and beat the fucking shit out of you. Yet. <clears throat> not yet. Uh, Volthonir, uh, has his head bowed as he steps away. There is also a fancy-looking ring here and what appears to be a bag of holding. Okay. As well as gems. Aldrich will go for the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> as is tradition. As is tradition. one. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> um, they call Baldrick, this just like, Baldrick is now that soccer dad with multiple tote bags getting out of a, <laughs> getting out of a van. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Picks up all the neighbors. Just having the snacks. <laughs> Here, take an orange. Uh, Bink, Bink will look over at, at Baldrick and say, hey, you should probably take that into the center of the room and empty it out before we add anything. Oh, God. Suddenly the bag man is just going to fall out of it. Or uh, a Tarrasque. <laughs> Bink is going to um, pick up uh, the ring and gems with his other hand. Uh, uh, the ring has the symbol of a fish on it. It is also magical. Okay. Yeah, um Volfenir doesn't see much use in the gems. Um he's already he, he's already uh <laughs> has an endowment, so he's he's good. When seeking the room. Ugh, I have to fix this parcel because I forgot to fix this one. I have to add normal stuff to it. Bag of... There you go. No, not beans. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll <Beans>. gladly take... <laughs> mm, 
tasty Let's beans. see, what does a phylactery of faithfulness of Aurori do? This tiny box, blah, 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 blah. You don't get any benefit from phylactery if you don't worship the affiliated deity. What's the phylactery? They're liches. Well, phylactery isn't just used for liches. I know, it actually I know, has I know. Jewish I know. It's a D&D &D joke. <laughs> Well, it's a it's an a fucking alignment based item. We're not worried about that. I'm deleting it. <laughs> Stupid circumstance bonus bullshit. <laughs> God. Math. The religious symbol for the, this god can stay right it there. Would warn, the it would warn you if you were going to perform an action that would be anathema to your god. And like, that's so much. Oh my god. What are garnets worth in 5e? 50 gold? And? I mean, I'm sure that the gems are like worth a lot, but I'm like, I'm just seeing this like the Cave of Wonders right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's, hmm. that's... has what he came for. What what is necessary for the mission? It becomes a giant viper. Well, that's lame. Yeah, we're not doing that. Figurine. Oh, garnet is a hundred. Damn. Anyone Ooh, else who wants to start your you can start your, you can start your uh, repayments. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why, why do you no think, interest. I'm a generous think, god. Oh, gosh. Why do you think Bink is willing to touch all the magical stuff? <laughs> okay. Oh. You have your necklace and three feathers, which you can hook onto them. Okay. And you now have the items you were required to recover from this place. What would you all like to do? Sarge, couldn't you? Can hmm. you add the kitchen parcel um, to the party sheet? Decanter and. Did you take the decanter? I thought you left it there. Oh, I I showed it to him. I I took it with us. Okay. No, no. I I picked it up, called him over, and then made sure that he knew that there was a decanter there, and that's why it was. That's where their water supply came from in the kitchen. I did take it. Well, he currently needs it because he can't use the well. There's a hazard in the well. Oh, well, he'll have to tell us about the well. <laughs> <laughs> he'll tell you about it. There's some sort of vine monster in the well. Oh, great. Okay. Let's go blast it. <laughs> well, we we're going to... Gonna stay here for a couple days. You might as well uh, take care of the vine monster. I, I love the energy band. <laughs> There's also a dojo out. She's like, this yeah. seems pretty simple. Let's well, blast it. <laughs> I, I think that that thing that you said was a dojo. I think that's the um that might be the burial ground. Oh, the burial ground, not a sparring location. That makes sense. I mean, like you could. Sm I mean, nothing's stopping someone from sparring on a burial ground. I guess, but. If your god, modem, if your god is one of might, of respect, probably. You are showing your might to the to the deceased. It is a religion of might and honing oneself. They are honing themselves in the eyes of their ancestors, okay. the presence of their ancestors. Okay. Okay. I could, I could see it. I could see it. Your persuasion roll <laughs> is high. Fun. Yeah, I could. Okay. Like. I don't know anything of these. I don't know anything of of, of the the practices here. It could but be a, completely but a, a legitimate. martial. I'm not going to put. Yeah, it was, yeah. I'm not going to put it past them. Um. All right. There's like th three points of interest that we haven't checked. Okay. There's, there's like the burial place outside. There's the well, and then there's this northern chamber, and that's not. And I'm not including the waiting in lying in wait for like a table pass to come back and and possibly kill us. Or the other way around. So, what does Minerva? What would you like to do? <laughs> no fucking idea. <laughs> you 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 want to you want to go black? The outside <laughs> area is some sort of sparring ground area. Oh. Okay. Um. There's for room A one. This is a garden. There would be a. <sighs> fucking encounter with like a swarm of insects type thing. I'm not running that. 
just <laughs> because I don't have the patience to run swarms of insects as like high CR encounters. I think that's stupid. Hmm. Minerva is always going to err on the side of violence. I mean, Minerva can just float in the air above the insects and shoot them. Uh, for the sake of brevity, mm -hmm. you can clear room A11, which is to the north. <laughs> I'll give you the description. A large golden plot takes up most of this roofless enclosure. The soil appears dry and what little plant life remains is dead and wilted. A hallway leads south. There are some third edition style items here called Greater Cognitive Mutagen and Serene Mutagen. That sounds dumb. I'm not going to try and contextualize these for 5th edition, so they just don't <laughs> exist. Okay. I'm okay with you, that. What did you do? Your mind becomes clear and cognition flows freely, but physical matters seem ephemeral. <sighs> you gain a long item bonus to Arcana and crafting, but you mm. take a penalty on... No, that's stupid. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> <clears throat> these things don't exist. Uh, using the decanter... Uh... Think we'll water the garden, uh, and then and then leave to go. Check out. Okay, well, there's no there's no like seeds here, but sure. Well, well it should you be wet it the dirt. Be wild, it should be. Okay, yeah. that's fun. I'll see. You. We can I see wanna, what happens there long term. Sprouts in three days. It's gonna it's gonna be a long time, but sure. Sprouts in three days. It comes back in three days. Vine monster. Fuck. That's great. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, do we need to clear the well? Is that, is that what we're doing next? Plus the spine room? Party. I don't know that you have to clear it per se. I mean, if we're going to make sure, if we're going to be taking the decanter with us, then we should definitely make sure that the, the well is clear for other people to come back and reclaim this. Yeah. I think that would be fair. Yeah. Also, we owe it to the archaeologist. Yes. He's helped us make yeah. sure that but, they have a yeah. supply of water. Plus, Minerva said she wanted to blast things, so yeah. uh, both Nero is willing to, willing to humor that. Violent. <laughs> okay, we all exit through the through, through the wall, trudge around the outside. Assuming we don't run into anything out there. Mm, yeah. The creature that I was planning to use for this is not currently loaded. Is it a vine horror or something? Uh, I don't, you don't know. Have to answer that. I just there remember. Really, I like, I was using like some sort of replacement creature. Like I was gonna probably use like a tree blight for this mm. because that's easy. Corpse flower is a little more complicated than I feel like running. <laughs> There's an animated tree in the Wild Mount book, but I don't have the Wild Mount book. Um, There's a shambling. trend. Shambling mounds? Yeah, I could maybe do two part? shambling mounds. Sources. Ah, fuck it. I'll just dump three shambling mounds in you all and let you all get eaten. <laughs> okay. Shambling mound! Um, who else is coming outside? I mean, I'm obviously coming with you. I'm not okay. letting you out my sight. By the way, um, does anybody have strong feelings about carrying the Phoenix necklace? Because no. if not, Volfnir probably feels strongly about feels most Go strongly about it. it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. Let the paladin hold on to our our lawful Let's entry into the tournament. The yeah. Answer. Okay. okay. Are you guys going towards the well? It's to the north. Yes. Yep. Uh, Aduna is, I assume, coming with, but she's got to come outside. Let's nope. see. Oh, are the walls off? I thought the walls were on. Walls are off. Walls, walls are, are merely yeah. suggestions now. <laughs> I turned them off because you guys know the layout, and I don't feel like being especially noodly about that right now. Uh... Oh, I see a spider web. <laughs> Bant, we're all up. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I had to talk to the boy. Oh, what is the boy doing? Uh, as you start exploring the area around there, Aduna. Oh, yeah, the spiders. <laughs> well, no, it's a bunch of shambling mounds. Please roll initiative. Oh, fuck, I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> oh, oh there, okay. 
Yeah, did you not hear him going on about a shambling mouth? <laughs> well, he said in the well. I didn't know he meant out of the well. Yeah. <laughs> See, that was the misdirection I got you. It's just in the well. They're out the well. <laughs> Clever fucks. <laughs> Jesus. Look at these I'm initiative rolls. Uh, where's my initiative? Diggles is like, where is this during our sparring match? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there oh, it is. <laughs> oh, why didn't your initiative populate? This is zero. This is zero. <laughs> It rejected oh, I can't zero? place zeros. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put a minimum of one in there for it to populate. That's great. I mean, I guess zero is technically valid. It just appears blank. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I have a shambling moon? Actually, I think it might, it might wind up skipping. Mm, only if we've it. got a specific module turned on. Mm, okay. If you get the roll of know. in round two. Oh god. <laughs> Congratulations, you stunned yourself. <laughs> hmm. I mean, are all of the goddamn shambling mount encounters in the fucking curse of Strahd shit? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Before we start the fight, can we take like a 10? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take a break real quick. Since we're about halfway. I will 